Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun, fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. The East Pass in Destin, Florida, opens the Choctahatchee Bay to the Gulf of Mexico and the rest of the aquatic world. In return, it serves as a fantastic location for redfish to swim around the rock jetties and search for crab, mullet, and other bait fish. All right. Today, this area will also find our host, Bill Dance, and his longtime friend and excellent guide, Josh Nelson of Outcast Fishing Charters. Yes, sir. The Destin area, also known as the world's luckiest fishing village, is a favorite fishing spot for Bill. Not only are the redfish abundant, but they can put up one heck of a fight near the jetties. When the tides are out going into the Gulf, the jetties turn into a prime feeding area and schools of redfish can oftentimes be found here. Not only is this area home of some of the best saltwater fishing, it's also home for sugar white sand beaches, tons of shopping, and some of the nicest vacation resorts along the Gulf of Mexico. Whether you just want to relax on the beach, maybe have a day at the spa, or enjoy a traditional dish straight from the water to your plate, you can be assured that there's something for everyone to enjoy. But it's fishing for redfish in the emerald green waters that's on the mind of Bill and Josh today. Let's join him at the jetties. Taking that ride, Josh. He's got it. Get him. Yep. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> you got him. Woo! I've been using these Cabo reels about seven, eight years now. And I run 150 to 180 trips a year. And they're pretty much bulletproof. I love these things. I didn't tell you what they're great reels. These are the these are the forties. The forty size. Come on. Woo. That's all I want, Bill. Huh? <laughs> That's all I want. It gets to be like work. <laughs> Boom. Get up here, buddy. Sometimes you can get lucky and these things will swim up current, will you? Not so much here. All right, you, you huff and puff for a while. Man, I'm telling you, I can't do nothing. <laughs> I can't do nothing. I can't. He's about, to, he's about to get me out of breath. That's good. Goodness gracious. <laughs> what you said? I can't do nothing. <laughs> that may be a bigger one. I can't do nothing. <laughs> I'll tell you, okay. Look at that. <laughs> I see the drag go. G -g 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 -g. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, that's a dandy. <laughs> a dandy that's dandy. That's a good fish, Bill. Huh? I got him. That's a good one. That's a good one, buddy. Here you go. A lot of times you can see that these fish have been hooked before, because our rules here are 18 to 27. You look inside that mouth, it looks kind of scarred up. Yeah. He's been hooked before. And that's the joy of throwing him back. We get to hook him another day. We're gonna let him go so we yeah. can do it again tomorrow. Bill Dance Saltwater is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops, and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Quantum Rods and Reels. Quantum Performance Tuned. And by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Mercury Marine. I've got one biting it. Or one close to it. Because that little big eyed thing is nervous. We're using these spot minnows. People hook them all different ways. My preference, hook them from the bottom through the top. And that way the hook doesn't crawl back and bury them in the, in the side of them. That's your rig right there with about a two foot Carolina rig with a four ounce sinker. We're just gonna throw it out over this ledge and let them sit. Hug on, buddy. These things out here stretch a string, won't they, buddy? Boy, they'll stretch. Listen to that, you're that right super about, quiet. You're right about string. Right here in all this current, you better have a silky smooth drag. Them cobbles, they oh, got that, that drag, like I say, it's just smooth as silk. Smooth as silk. Boy, you're right about powerful. A 30-inch fish pulls harder than any 30-inch fish you've caught. All right, what about the spot minnows that we're using? Do they live in the Gulf and migrate into the bay, or are they just native to the bay? Yeah, Bill, these spot minnows primarily live in our bay. Uh, wintertime, they're in deep water. Um, in the summertime, like now, you can, you can find them on shallow flats, uh, near grass. Um, what we do is we throw a cast net on them, a 12-foot cast net, and wrap them up. Um, very rarely can you catch them on hook and line. Uh, a couple years back, you and me, we were catching them on croakers. And, uh, but these spot minnows, per, to me, are the are preferred uh, bait for these redfish. A little bit softer, don't have the gill rakers like a croaker, but do everything just like a croaker. They, uh, they get down on the bottom, and they sound like a frog down there on the, on the bottom, making their noise. I wish I could just give you all that rod right there and let you feel how powerful <laughs> that fish is. Take it, here. <laughs> I'm not being smart, I just wish you could feel it. Not trying to be cute. I just wish you could feel how powerful that fish is. I'm using 30 pound Berkeley X9 braid on a Fenor seven foot medium heavy rod with a 40 size Cabo reel, which is just a perfect, perfect. I want to show you. The size of this fish, just how powerful that little fish is. All right, bogle grip him. You bogle grip one Ooh. for a change. He's still not happy. Now look, look at that fish. Look, just the size of that fish. How powerful that fish is. Bill, that gamagatsu does work every time in that corner. That's a good circle hook. Hello, hello, how y'all doing? A little rust on you. Couple dots with him Yeah. on the other side. Two dots on this side, they're together. We're going back, we're going home. Naturally, the incoming tide is clear water, and the outgoing tide is a little bit dirtier water. Do you find that incoming is better fishing than outgoing? When the outgoing tide is pushing out from our bay, pushing towards the Gulf of Mexico, the water is real dirty. And what it does, it kind of starts a feeding frenzy. It pushes grass, crabs, and other bait fish out. And what we do is we wait on that outgoing tide and we'll fish that outgoing tide until it stops. Today's show is brought to you in part by 
Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Gamakatsu, the world's finest fish hooks. And Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. Today's show is brought to you in part by Berkeley, catch more fish. Garmin, bite your fish, not your fish finder. And by Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Look at all the forks just swimming by the boat. Watch this a minute. Oh, they're right up beside the boat, aren't they? Eat your hand off. They're pretty docile. Nervous bait. Nervous bait. I see him. On that side rod. He's got it. He's on. He's hooked up again. I got him. He's on. Got him coming? Hit him there for a minute. There you go. There he goes with it, streaming it. There he goes with it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. I get a little bit and he takes a little bit. There he goes again. These fish are just roughly over the 30 inch mark. And I tell you, look at that medium action rod just bowed away over. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, they give you all you want, don't they? All you want. We do a lot of novice fishermen around here when I take them. And uh, can you imagine somebody you never caught a fish before coming out here? Oh, yeah. Get spoiled on these things. Well, they catch about 10 or 12 of them, and they say, that's all I want. Buddy. He's a powerful little fish. That one's a little bit bigger. Here, here, drumming. Hello. We're going home. Here we go. Right rod, get it. Got him on. Feel good? Yes, sir. They all do, don't I'm they? just tired. You can't tell if that fish is 15 pounds or 40 pounds, can you? No doubt about it. I promise you can't. Uh, these redfish, when you get them on an incoming tide, they see real well because it is such clean water that's coming in from our Gulf of Mexico, and it pushes into our bay and it's real, real clean water, and um, it's real tough to catch them then. So you're saying your outgoing is better than the incoming, normally? That's absolutely correct, um, especially here in the summertime when we get our spawning fish in here. You'll sit here like what we're doing, and you can catch 20, 30 redfish in a matter of minutes, um, especially on the outgoing tide. Pay close attention to where you're fishing, whether it's drop-offs, structure piles, uh, deep holes. You can use your bass technique to, to target these redfish and pretty much be successful at it. There's your fish, my boy, my boy. Thank you, sir. Tough little dude. You are a tough little dude, you. You know that? Pretty, you are one tough little rascal. I'm going to tell you what, pound for pound, that's the strongest. Yeah, that one, uh, that one spot right there. Yeah. That's their defense mechanism. Long, 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 long. Acts as a second eye, so when a, a predator fish tries to eat it, he can flip his tail and leave. Yeah. In theory. Yeah, false dot. I mean, that fish is 33 inches and fatter than your hand is wide. Yeah. He's a toughie. 
He gave us some love. He gave us some love. Little didn't heart. He? Okay, buddy. So toot loose. Boy, he went toward the gulf. Toward the gulf, he did. Nice fish. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. It's a new conventional braid using nine 100% polyethylene fibers. It's built to be smooth, quiet, and cast so easily. The nine strands are woven together for strength, and this product is ideal for pitching, flipping, or casting, and available from eight to 100 pound test. And it's a small diameter braid. Hey, an impressive line you're really gonna like. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And by Finnor, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed caption provided by the Bill Dance Store. Check us out online. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, Shark Plotter Sonar Combos, with their advanced sonar technology, like Panoptic's Live Scope All-Seeing Sonar. You'll spend less time finding your fish. Millennium continues to create new and innovative products like this R401 Rod Pod. This is an ideal rod holder for quick and easy installation. Just pop it on, use it, and when you're finished with it, remove it till the next time. Adjust quickly from a 45 to 180 vertical position and rotates 360 degrees. Millennium 401 Rod Pod adapts quickly and easily for your fishing needs. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. Yes, sir. What do you think, buddy? Got him. Got him. I've got him on no. temporarily. No, no. He's got you. Yeah, that's, we've got each other. <laughs> we're bonding. That's what we're doing. I'm going to come over the top with you real quick. Okay. Quickly. We are bonding. We have each other. I've hooked him and he's hooked me. Yes, sir. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Bang, bang, bang. Oh! You got one on the oh! Look at Goodness. Goodness gracious. I'll tell you what, Bill. <laughs> you so right all the fishing I do. You said, you said, let's go down there. Let's leave this bridge and come down here. Just for a little bit. These things right here will give you more three-minute rounds than you can stand. Come on, let me do the honors. Got Pull his mouth open. Here. There you are, sir. Thank you, buddy. There goes the mosquitoes. You talk about dynamite comes in small packages. Not that big, but boy, I'm gonna tell you. Powerful little guy right there. All right, this is going home. Goodness. I'm the man with the claws. Good. I, hear, I hear that drag just going. G -g 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 -g. That's as good as it gets, Bill. Josh, you're doing what you love to do. Yes, sir. That's what the man is doing. I love it. This is the man that can make it happen right here in Destin, Florida. You want to catch redfish? Josh is your man. I'll be here. He'll be here. All you got to do is give him a call and he's got a boat ready for you. And every time he sees these bogle grips, he takes a nose dive. He won't take one now. He might have seen them bogle grips before. Here, get him. Got him, buddy. That's a good one there. That fish 35 or yeah. so inches. Yeah. 
Closer to 30 pounds, 25, 30 pounds. That's a good one. Look, he's got, look, look, he's got, got uh, headlights on his tail. Womp womp. I know why you had trouble with him. I'm having trouble holding him, much less fighting him. Pretty little thing. You ready? Let him go so we can do it again tomorrow. Nice. Well, dang it. That old clock is signaling again that we gotta go. So this time, guess we better follow the rules. Hopefully, we've convinced you just how great the red fishing can be here on the beautiful Emerald Coast at Destin. There's no doubt the sparkling clean emerald green salt water here is one of the finest fishing destinations along the Gulf Coast. And if you get a chance to visit this beautiful area in Northwest Florida, give our buddy Captain Josh Nelson of Outcast Fishing Charters a call. You won't be disappointed. Just remember, this is something you can do. Yes, you can do this. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time right here on Bill Dance Saltwater. enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Yes, you can do this. Please join us right here next week.